So I just got done with the whale. I, I know such a jump to go from Puss in Boots to the whale. Um, funny story about <laughs> this screening. I, I, I don't know for sure, but I am like 90% sure that the like only two people who were at Puss in Boots like in the theater with me also came to the whale screening. Like what are the odds that two different people, I guess three different people, decided that they were going to do Puss in Boots followed by the whale? <laughs> Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure it was them. And at the end of the movie, they, I could overhear them. They fucking hated it. They thought it was going to be a comedy. I have no idea why they thought that. Um, like nothing about that indicates comedy unless it's like listed as one incorrectly. But I, I, I remember looking up, I, I actually thought it was going to be a horror movie. I feel like I got like a mislead in title too, because it was uncomfortable. It was unsettling, but it wasn't a horror movie. I wouldn't call it one at least. Um, I enjoyed this movie a lot. I don't think it's without its flaws, unfortunately. Like, I, I do have issues with it. But for the most part, I really liked it. Brendan Fraser's performance is the best part of it. It's the most notable thing because it's him basically coming out of retirement for this one after some unfortunate things that happened to him during his career. Um, I'm happy for his success in this. He did an amazing job. He's the main reason to see it. I thought the makeup, like the bodysuit that they used on him and the makeup looked like really convincing, really good. And then I thought that, yeah, I, just, I, I really just enjoyed his performance. All of his monologues, all of his conversations. This movie's based on a play, so you do get these like really long, drawn out conversations. But they're all super engaging. Like, um, God, this, like, there was this movie actually went by pretty quickly to me because I was engaged in the conversations, but all the other performances were great too. Now, what's my problem with this movie? Um, thing is, I think a lot of these scenes work great individually, but you hit a point where you're getting argument scene after argument scene after argument scene. There's just so many people coming into this guy's house and like tearing him down, shouting at him. It just, it's shout and fight after shout and fight after shout and fight. The way his daughter talks to him, the way his nurse talks to him, the way his wife talks to him. And they all have pleasant conversations too. Like there's all, like little pleasant conversations thrown in, um, but they'll be shouting at each other, then calm and then shouting at each other again. And it all feels very natural. This isn't a fucking marriage story argument that people made where it's like, oh, shouting doesn't mean a good performance. No, the performances were all great. Or like, oh, that's four strum. No, every single scene, it works. But with all of them back to back to back to back, it just made me numb after a while. At the same time in this movie's defense, and this is something that I'm hoping will like help me on a rewatch if I ever watch this movie again, is I kind of understand it too. With Marriage Story, that big outburst scene, the reason I hate that criticism so much that people gave it is because there's so much buildup to it. With The Whale, it feels like all the buildup happened off screen. The movie's starting at the explosion, and that's why there's so much shout, and that's why there's so many hard feelings. Because, without saying too much, Brendan Fraser's character in this basically hit a point in his life where a lot of people who care about him are really upset with him right now. And he's really upset with himself, too. Um... And, yeah, it's just a film of, like, everything coming out. Everything coming out. And honesty is a big theme in this movie. Just being honest and open about things. That is something that is constantly brought up by the characters. That is something that, oh, hey, look, it's, uh, I'm actually at my house. So my, my family's going to see me talking to myself in my car. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just, uh. It's just, again, it made me feel a little numb after a while, and I don't know if I can really give the film so much shit for that, because it all makes sense. Nothing about it doesn't make sense, but did it hurt my enjoyment of the movie? A little bit. A little bit. And that at that point, I think the argument is just, it's not for me, but I just want to like say, for anyone who's interested in watching it, I think it's worth it, but like really ask yourself if that sounds enjoyable to you argument compilation the movie um but the conversations are all really interesting and again like the set design is good for this house and brendan fraser's performance and the way they alter like transformed him like all of it's really solid um and it's like meaningful and it's thought thoughtful but it's also so disturbing and uncomfortable and it like 
I, I think it can make you reflect on some of the more like negative aspects of your own life. It certainly did for me. Um, yeah, it's just a heavy movie and there's a lot of things they're talking about in it too. Um, you know, relationships, religion, um, all sorts of things. It's, it's very well done. Um, but like I said, it is a lot of arguing, a lot of arguing in the same room. And occasionally you'll get a scene that throws that off, but, um, yeah, uh, that's basically it. It's again, these are, I call these thoughts on and not reviews cause it's just kind of rambling after seeing the movie, but I, I really liked it. I probably will watch it again. Um, but there were points in the movie where I was like, all right, let's, let's, <laughs> let's move on. Um, good movie. I'm going to say I'm, I'm stuck between a seven or an eight. Um, because again, like I really don't want to go too hard on it with that because I do like all of the scenes. I think all of them on their own are great. I think all of them side by side, it's a bit much, but it's also based on a play and that kind of makes sense. I don't know. I, I think I basically just got complicated feelings on this one, but overall it's positive. Um, so, uh, I, you know, if it looks interesting to you, check it out. I definitely think it's worth checking out. Just get ready for a lot of shouting. <laughs>